This is a little engine that I just completed. It is a ring bomb engine based on the tapper engine described in James Sense book. You'll see why it is called tapper in just a minute. A ring bomb engine is essentially a type of Stirling engine. In a normal Stirling engine, the power piston and the displacer are both coupled to the crankshaft. The phase of the displacer with respect to the piston determines the direction of rotation. In the ring bomb engine, the displacer floats freely. There is no mechanical coupling to the piston. You can see here that I can move the displacer and the piston independently. It's the varying air pressure in the cylinder that causes the displacer to slide in and out of the displacer cylinder. The remarkable thing is that the displacer finds its own phase shift once the engine starts. The engine can operate in either direction depending on the direction the flywheel is started. As you see here, the engine is just starting as it warms up. After the engine warms up even more, you will notice that there is some variation in the pattern that's happening. This is due to the engine speed getting to the point where the displacer cannot keep up. The displacer will skip a few beats, and as the engine slows down, it regains synchronization.